Hi, this is Joan from I Love RV Life. When we bought this new Montana, the one space that it did not have was a makeup area just for me. But look what Jerry has accomplished. Hi, this is Jerry with I Love RV Life. When we had our gateway, back in the back, here, I'll, I'll put the video up here. Uh, we created a makeup area for Joan. It was where the washer and dryer connection was. And <laughs> let me tell you what, that was a hit. Joan loved that space. And we have gotten more great comments on that. But we don't have that here in the new Montana. And I promised Joan day one, we'll figure something out. So. Joan kind of came up with this idea and then we kind of drew it out on paper and uh, I think this is going to work out perfect. So I'll show you what we're getting ready to do. Now, before I get started, some of you might look at this and go, Jerry, you're ruining your Montana, your brand new Montana. You're going to absolutely destroy the resale value. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. That is not something we need to worry about. Here's why, and I've talked about this before in previous videos. All my modifications are what I refer to as a modular design. It's, um, I don't know, we'll call it the Ikea of, <laughs> the Ikea of RV living. Even though a lot of this stuff is custom made, one or two screws, I can take this stuff out and put it back like original. The new owners, if we ever decide to sell it or trade it in, would never know that we've made these modifications. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. So let me show you the task at hand. So as we look at this space, uh, you'll see, Joan's actually been using this now for her makeup, uh, but there was some drawbacks. And this was Joan's idea. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna give her credit where credit's due. I thought it was absolutely a brilliant idea. So I put her, uh, you know, the little mirror up right here. Um, I might slide that over. We'll see what she wants. But she's got space all across here to put things like, you know, her makeup mirror and all those types of things. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these drawers. They just slide out. A couple screws, they pop out. There's some little wooden supports right under here. I'm going to ease those out. I'm going to cut those out very carefully. So Joan will be able, she's using it now. She'll be able to, you know, put her stool right here. But the, the downside that she's had is she can't scoot up close enough and her knees will be able to kind of go inside that area. And then she'll have her makeup there. And then over here, these drawers that currently has, you know, socks and t-shirts and those types of things. That will hold, you know, things like her dryer, curling irons, makeup, etc., etc., etc. Oh, Jerry, you could use this type of stuff. Well, you know, we're using that for our bed linens and those types of things, but this will be perfect for her. Now the question arises, what are you gonna do for a chest of drawers? <laughs> you know, Joni's so smart, she figured this out too. So, pencil to paper, here's what we've come up with. I guess you would call this a wardrobe. Uh, we always wondered about what this thing was. Was it real or decoration? And then we, after we bought the thing and got it home, uh, we found out it was a wardrobe and we're not gonna use it. We're it just, we don't need it. We don't need, we've got so much hanging space, we don't need it. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to custom make three large drawers. It'll actually be larger than what we have. And then we'll have a shelf here and a shelf here. And we'll have one on both sides. We'll have a here and her. We'll still call it a wardrobe area, but we'll have soft clothes drawers that will pull out and they'll be bigger, um, more space, more space is good. Well, so in this project, we lose nothing, nothing. You don't always have that happen. We gain everything in this one. Gain a nice, comfortable space for Joan to be able to use her makeup area and have it very functional with the drawers. And then over in that spot right over there, we're going to gain larger drawer space and larger shelf space. Places for undergarments, t-shirts, and things like that. Folding jeans, etc., etc. So. This is going to be perfect. Let's head out to the shop and I'm going to start making some drawers. This is going to be fun.
been in the shop oh, for a couple hours now. I'm not gonna take you through ripping down plywood and all that. I'm not gonna waste your time with that. I'm gonna make some basic drawers. These are just basic, basic drawers. Uh, I would show you the step-by-step -step process. I will just kind of show you my progress as we go along, but there's so many YouTubes out there on how to make basic slide drawers. It's a very simple process, and I'll just, I'll just save you time for doing that. If you're interested in it, you know, just do a Google search or a YouTube search for you know, making drawers, and you'll find some really good uh, craftsmen out there that are doing these types of things. But it's just a, it's just a basic uh, half-inch uh, half piece of plywood, just standard grade plywood. I'm not using anything expensive like a Baltic birch or anything like that. These are gonna be hidden. They're gonna be behind those drawers, so there's no need. Ugh, plywood's outrageously expensive right now. This was uh, 36 bucks for a sheet of half inch standard grade four by eight uh, sheet of plywood. Um, Baltic birch uh, was uh, $100, so I just don't need that. It's not furniture grade. I'm not going to worry about it. So I'm getting ready to take these. I'm going to sand them down, get them nice and smooth so they don't snag on our clothing, and uh, then we'll start assembling some drawers. pretty busy for the past day and a half uh, building cabinets and uh, drawers. Uh, drawers take forever for me, <laughs> but these are going to be absolutely perfect. They're actually going to be an extra six inches wider than what we're currently using. So space, 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 always important in the RV. All right, now I want you to stick with me for the next couple of minutes. I'll just kind of do an abbreviated version of what's getting ready to happen. We're going to have to take these doors off. A couple screws, no big deal. Um, I built the little... Uh, drawer assemblies where they'll just fit in. So I want a really nice, you know, tight fit uh, when we put those in there, you know, again, maximizing the space. So I'll just kind of show just a little bits and pieces highlight. We'll take those doors down, just a couple screws, no big deal. Put them right back up once we get the slide assembly in. And then, and then, this is kind of like phase one, phase two, I'll take you down here and I'll show you what I'm gonna do for Joan's makeup area. And um, again, I wanna stress everything that I'm doing we can put back. It's it's not a it's not a big deal. It's not like we're wrecking this nice new Montana. If uh, we'll put these drawers in storage and everything will be just like new if we ever want it that way. Although I can't imagine anybody not wanting this nice makeup area, really. Now you can see how much space we've got here. It's really big. Um, I think 12 inches deep, uh, 21 inches wide. And we'll, you'll see when I put the shelf in here, the, the new drawers in here, uh, they'll come up to about here and then we'll have a shelf. So we're never gonna use this for coats. I just, we've got so much space in the big closet back in the bathroom. We're just not gonna need this. All right, let's go get the uh, first drawer assembly. This is gonna take me just a minute or two. All right. Let's see how she's going to fit. Well, looks like I measured right.
perfect. All right, made some little basic aluminum brackets. You can see that he's just a little thin piece of aluminum angle. Just kind of hold everything in place. I don't, I think I could just probably leave it in here, but such a tight fit, I don't think it's moving around a lot, but I'll take about a second to put this in. All right, we have drawers. All work good there. These work good here. All right. All right. Into that. So we have the new, what we'll call the new uh, chest of drawers or dresser area. That's gonna work out great. Now let's get Joni a uh, makeup area fixed up. This is gonna be the new area where Joan's gonna have her makeup area. And these drawers will be placed where she can put, you know, dryers, essentials, those types of things that she'll need. And uh, we're gonna take these out and then just kind of open the space up just a little bit. Put these in storage in case we ever need them in the future. Joan, I've got it finished. What do you think? Oh my goodness, look at this. This is great. This used to be our chest of drawers. Yeah, yeah the chest and, of drawers are gone. And Jerry was so neat to put me a makeup table in here. So he took part of the chest of drawers out, allowing me to have a stool to sit on. And it can be pushed back in when I'm not using it. And then, to make better, even better, he took the chest of drawers. Yeah, those are hard to pull, aren't they? they yeah. Are. 
and put the chest of, chest of drawers in what would have been another closet. Yeah, that closet really wasn't functional. And of course right. I built those from scratch, you know, and uh, you, you can, you know, pull pull one of these right over here on the left hand side. There you go. You can see how much larger they are. How do they you like- They are, and the only thing that I would change, and <laughs> I hope I can talk you into changing, would be the color. I don't like the black. I kind of want to go with more of a gray that's over in the makeup area. Well, I'll defend myself, and, and I agree with you a thousand percent. When I built these, I had that paint. And then when I came over here, just to kind of show you uh, what I did here, when I pulled this drawer out that was over here, this is a new, I call it a false face. And then, you know, where I cut the drawers out, I had some nicks in these areas and so forth. I was fortunate enough that I could find matching paint. And uh, so I painted that and, and I'll, I'll, I'll change those. I think I agree with you a hundred percent. Well, when we look here at the, um, when we look here at the makeup area, come back over here to the makeup area. And I know people are probably looking at this going, you got rid of your chest of drawers. Well, actually we've got more space than what we had before. I mean, if you pull your chair out and sit there, um, you know, you can show them what, you know, how I've set up your makeup area here. You've got your drawers here now to the right where you'll keep, you know, certain. Now this is where I'll keep, you know, maybe medicines or whatever. And I've got another drawer here to put the hair dryer and rollers or whatever. And even a third drawer. And I will find something. Yeah, I'm sure you will. I sure will. And then but on the left hand like, side. What I like over here is you've made this into where I store my makeup. Right. I store my makeup and my jewelry. And all of that is right in there so we have um we have made changes but in all fairness when we buy a camper this star second we buy it and then decide how we best can use the spaces and you also mentioned that you wanted you know a light up here where right. you could have a little bit better light and i'll put you one up here and the good thing about it is i've got an electrical connection that i can mm -hmm. work up through here so i can give you you know so, something to look more like natural light here and and work out well this was a complete chester drawers area joan this was joan's idea um she looked at it and went is there any way that you could set this up to uh, be a makeup area. My biggest concern, if you look down here where Joan's shoes are at, down here at the bottom, that was what my biggest concern. Did they put these cabinets on top of the flooring? And fortunately, um, you, you, can, you know, the flooring continues uh, with the cabinet sitting on top of it. And then uh, I was able to, um, you know, this is, boy, this is great furniture too. This is all, in a Montana, this is all maple, maple fronts, uh, great furniture. And, um, the you know once i started taking the little supports out everything was just screwed in it wasn't that difficult to do this my time consumption uh was over here on all the drawers that you saw behind that that's a coat closet and that's just not something that we would use yeah. ever ever we've got so much space back there where you see me reflecting in the mirror back there we've got so much closet space but um and, and, and this is your space. Um, you know, you don't have to go down and sit in the dining area and put your makeup on or things like that. And then, you know, if you scoot up just a little bit like you would normally use, Joan, um, like you see, she's got room for her legs and feet and everything to go up under that comfortable. And then, you know, if we're getting dressed or something, I've got plenty of room to walk behind her to get over into the... Um, the uh, bath suite area to dress and do those types of things, or if one of us is taking a shower or something like that. But this is Joan's space, uh, and it looks like it came from the factory, doesn't it, hon? It really does. I'm very pleased with the, um, the what it's going to do for me. Yeah, that's fantastic. All right, well, Joan, um, it, it's, uh, it's one of the things that we love to do, but what do we love more than this? Oh, yeah. We love RV life. <laughs> I love RV and life. And we love too. going where RV life is. That's right. I love RV life too.